Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and restart the computer and hit delete or F2 to take us into the BIOS. At this point, it'll just take you into your um, your easy mode, what's called the easy mode screen, where you can see what kind of information is going on with your computer. And we can see right now my profile is uh, 3600 megahertz, although, yeah, 2300, it looks like it's getting recognized there. Speed, 3600 megahertz. So you can see up here that the things that I want are being recognized. Um, for the way I want them because I've already set it up, but I'm going to take you through the process of going back and um, showing you how to do that. So let's go to advanced mode, which is F7 here. And then you want to go over to AI Tweaker. It may not be labeled AI Tweaker if you're not using an ASUS motherboard, but it will be something similar. And in this in instance, um, it's abled AI Overclock on, the, uh, on, the, on this motherboard, the ASUS motherboard. And probably when you get it, it will be at auto. Uh, you can, I wouldn't leave it in auto. You can probably put it on manual and get pretty good results. I went ahead and I, and I recommend changing it all the way to the DOCP. And a message will pop up about how to change. You need to change your Infinity Fabric down there. We're going to do that in just a second. So now that we've done that, you can see here on this line, the DOCP is now recognized at this time, this rating for megahertz and these are the timings that I get. So now we want to make sure that and hit down here also it recognizes it. Memory frequency is at 3600 megahertz. So looking at this uh, frequency, well now we want to change the infinity fabric frequency. It's not labeled infinity fabric, it's FCO uh, it's a it's a clock, a fabric clock frequency. And we want to set it to one half of the frequency of our, of our RAM. So if our RAM is 3600 like mine is, I want to set that to 1800. If your RAM is 3200 megahertz, then you want to set the, uh, the Infinity Fabric to 1600 megahertz. All right? I have heard that there is instability once you go above 1800 megahertz. I've had mine at 1800 and I have not had any instability because of that. All right, We have now enabled our RAM on this motherboard and what we want to go do is to verify that we're going to go ahead and go back into easy mode and you will be able to see on yours probably if it wasn't enabled that the memory will now say 3600 there and it'll say 3600 here also for, and give you your timings and it'll also tell you how many volts it's, it's going to be using it automatically sets that up in the bias, you don't have to worry about that so you have now enabled your RAM to be functional on the ASUS motherboard uh, after all you need to do at this point is uh, save and exit which is on this one F10 and there you go thanks guys have a great day